sick and tired of boring old tacos? Well, tonight I'm going to bring you three mind-blowingly delicious tacos that'll take your boring taco night to the next level. For our first taco this evening, we'll be using brisket. So naturally, if we're gonna make brisket tacos, first thing we gotta do is smoke a brisket. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trim off some of that excess fat, use mustard as our binder and cover both sides with barbecue rub. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up our pit boss and smoke it at 225 for 12 hours. I tried using a rub with activated charcoal this time and that bark looks amazing. After letting our brisket come to rest, we're gonna slice it up and look and see how we did. Look at all that juice. Next thing we're gonna do is make our tomatilla salsa to go with. Consists of tomatilla, jalapenos, onion, salt, pepper, and olive oil. We're gonna roast it in the oven at 425, just till everything starts to turn golden brown. Chop up some cilantro to put in the blender. Pull everything out when it's done. Blend it all together. Next, we're gonna take some of our brisket, uh, chopped onion, and some jalapenos, put it into our cast iron skillet just to kind of infuse all those flavors together. Now we're going to plate it with an avocado, our feta cheese, and our tomatillo salsa. For our next taco, we'll be using pork carnitas. You know what that means, let's smoke the pork butt. First thing we're gonna do is salt both sides and then add some orange juice and some lime juice and set it in the fridge overnight. Next, same as the brisket, we're going to use mustard as a binder and cover both sides with our barbecue rub. Next, we're gonna add it to our smoker at 225 until we reach the internal temp of 165. After we've reached 165, we're gonna bring it inside, fill our Dutch oven with peanut oil, Cover the top with basil and oregano and bake it in the oven at 350 until we reach that internal temp of 205. It should pull apart like butter. Next, we're gonna take some of the cooking fat that we rendered from the pot and add it to our cast iron skillet. We're gonna add our pork, onions, and green chili to the pan to crisp them up. Next, we're gonna plate our pork, onions, and green chilies on our tortilla with feta and finish with our tomatilla sauce. Enjoyed this video so far? Go ahead and smash that like button. For our next taco, we're gonna be using fried chicken. First thing we're gonna do is take our chicken thighs and cut them into strips to make them easier to fit on the tacos. Next, we're gonna take our chicken thighs with our cornstarch and water binder and our dredge of flour and spices. After we've covered all our chicken, we're going to preheat and coat our air fryer with our cooking oil. I've currently been using duck fat. Uh, this is really a key here. You wanna make sure you spray it really well on the bottom. Add your chicken uh, in a single layer. You don't want anything overlapping. And then you really wanna make sure you cover the top really well. This helps get that fry texture that you're going for. While the chicken's cooking, we're going to make our queso. We use pepper jack cheese, Colby Jack, green chilies, and whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. After we've sliced up our cheese, we're gonna add it to our cast iron, top with the green chilies, and then fill to the desired amount of whipping cream. Next, you're gonna put it on the stove top and you're just gonna heat until all the cheese is melted. Look at that cheesy goodness. Next, we're gonna take some of our truff sauce just to add a little bit more flavor and we're gonna add a little bit on top and then also throw in some feta cheese. Now to plate our taco, we're gonna add some green chilies on the bottom, take our chicken tender and then cover it in queso. If you've made it this far, I hope you've been enjoying the content. 
I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button right here. And because you've made it this far, I've got a bonus taco for y'all. First thing we're gonna do is cook up some bacon. Next, we're gonna add our waffle batter to our waffle iron. Plate our taco, we're gonna take our waffle, add our piece of chicken, sprinkle some of that crispy bacon on top, and then cover it in maple syrup. There you have it, folks. I have now given you four mind-blowingly delicious tacos to take your taco night to the next level. If you've really enjoyed this content, I've got this new video right here. That will be the best new video for you. I would appreciate it if you guys keep on watching, and I will see you in the next one.